Hello everyone, we are looking ahead to our February 23rd Fine Estates Auction. That ends this Friday, February 23rd with live online bidding through BriggsAuction.com, our mobile app and live auctioneers. We're going to do a quick virtual preview of the sale, but you can see everything in much more comprehensive view online on our app on BriggsAuction.com or download our app or live auctioneer. So let's just take a quick look through. This is lot 152, a nice equestrian bronze. You have this Gustavsburg Center Bowl, Lion Mask Mount, that's lot number 155. Very nice English Oyster Burl, chest of drawers, two over two on bracket feet, nice small size, diminutive, has a great look, great surface on the top. We have a nice selection of mid-century modern design in the auction to include this Lane Boomerang table. The top part, as you can see, it swings for a variety of situations there. It can form you know, a few different shapes depending on your space. We have a pair of these Edward Wormley for Dunbar swivel lounge chairs. Fairly rare model of these lounge chairs. You don't see them come up too often. Nice pair, upholstery's in good vintage condition. We have a pair of these attributed to Adrian Pearsall stands with decorated laminate tops in excellent shape. Great stylized legs on these. And then we have this Laurel, Harry Balmer for Laurel, Brutalist ribbon lamp. This is lot number 307 in the auction. It's a really nice piece, impactful size, great patina. One of the premier art lots in the auction is this Antonio Jacobson oil on canvas painting of a steamship. Antonio Jacobson was commissioned for a lot of these paintings by the ship's owners or the companies that owned them. So this is pretty, uh, normal for his style. Sign lower right, New York, 1876, great 19th century painting. Really nice piece. Has some ships in the background as well. Just a really cool piece of Americana. We do have a few carousel horses in the sale. Both have been repainted. This one is by Charles Loof has the original paperwork, or receipt for it, rather. But great painted surface, glass eyes. It's a nice displayable carousel horse. That's lot number 12, and I believe the other is lot 13. We have a lot of nice traditional furnishings as well, some antiques to include a few tall case clocks. This English tall case clock here with decorated brass dial, it is signed. And you have another English clock next to it. Some more modern design here. We have a pair of Charles and Ray Eames for Herman Miller soft pad chairs. These are really desirable chairs, leather, they swivel. As you can see they're signed underneath and they also have a cast signature pair of George Nelson coconut chairs. You see they have a shell design. Great style on these. Need to be redone. Looks like they were in the process of being redone. They have some null textile swatches, but just great pieces ready for restoration. We have a pair of Saltarini radar chairs. Some contemporary furnishings by Baker. It's a nice pair of chairs there. This is typically attributed to Milo Bowman, but it is not, but it's a nice 70s modern yin-yang coffee table. It's stacked up, but it forms a yin-yang. You can see the shape there, glass top. You have an Italian modern lacquered coffee table or cocktail table. This is in great shape. Looks like it could be Carl Springer, or at least in the style of well-known designer, has that like faux marble finish. It is marked made in Italy. 
double bull nose edge. Great piece, nice low piece. Chrome and glass cocktail table and an Eames lounge chair, Bentwood lounge chair. This is an LCW model, low or lounge chair wood is what it stands for. So this would be a second generation model based on the screw configuration. Some more American modern pieces there. Nice set of Chippendale style chairs, set of six, nicely carved, acanthus legs, ball and claw feet. Here we have some more modern design here. We have a Joe Colombo cart. This is like an artist cart. A lot of people use them for like little bar carts. Nice piece of Italian design for cartel. Another modernist piece that's enameled metal, almost like an umbrella stand or a storage cabinet. Tulip table, great mid-century bedroom set that's comprised of a low dresser. You have a tall chest on the other side and a pair of nightstands. Love the hardware on this set. Nice look, nice construction, dovetail drawers. Just a super clean set. Great lines on it, on the base, on the legs. Some more traditional furnishings up there. Contemporary furnishings at X base table. Here we have this nice inlaid chest of drawers and an antique mule chest there. Pine blanket chest, two drawer base. It's a Drexel parallel desk with a pair of Thayer Coggin stools on top. Milo Bauman for Thayer Coggin, vinyl upholstered. There's the second Adrian Pearsall stand. You can just see the tops, really great shape, good condition. Sunburst or a floral pattern. Set of rosewood dining chairs up there. Nice set. And a set of four Danish chairs. You also have that mid-century modern lamp here. I think this is by Laurel. Brass and ebonized strapping. Little country paneled hutch. Storage cubby there. We have two pieces by Le Caborcier for Casina. You have this lounge chair here and then a sofa on the other side. This is from the estate of Charles Capulain. We have a lot of art from that artist as well. Philadelphia artist, teacher at Moore College of Art. Just a wonderful estate collection. Large format works, but there are also some smaller pieces as well. Just a really nice abstract, large format geometric paintings. Very well done, very vibrant with their colors. It's a tall case clock, a few clocks in the sale. There's that other Le Caborcier for Casina, original sofa, two cushion sofa, very comfortable sofa. These are marked Casina stamped underside of the arm. If you're looking for more of a traditional sofa, we have this Stickley Mission Style Prairie Sofa is the name of the model in Cherry. Great upholstery on it. Nice Mission Style piece of furniture. Traditional sideboard here. This is by Baker. It's the Charleston Collection, lot 223. Great inlay. Marked inside the drawer. As you can see, it has the Baker tag as well as historic Charleston reproduction. It's a custom fitted glass top. Even under the glass, it's in excellent condition. Great piece. Here are those rosewood chairs. We have a grouping of espresso equipment from a, um, like a high-end local business 
to include this La, La Marzocco espresso machine, two unit espresso machine. This retails new for about $15,000. Made in Italy, Florence, Italy, great machine. And there's also some really high quality other pieces to go with it. It's a nice grouping of equipment. Some antiques, Welsh cupboard. Great old two part Welsh cupboard here. Nice display. You have this three part Amish stacking cabinet. This came out of a real estate property that we sold in Gap, PA. Amish made, just excellent, excellent quality. Great condition. A few dry sinks in the sale, country style dry sinks. Set of six watered Scriptura mesh patio chairs. Great iron patio chairs, some really cool signage here. Porcelain musky sign and a porcelain fish sign. And then an antique flying geese weather vane. Beautiful set of sleigh bells. Lot number 35, nice desirable set. I think there's about 20, 18 to 20 in here. Gorgeous pair of Chippendale Rococo style wall mirrors. These have nice age to them. Probably early 20th century or 19th century. They do have a little bit of wear. That one Phoenix finial needs to be reattached, but it's just, it's just a nail. So it's not broken off or anything like that. Just rather be safe than sorry, so we took it down. But really nice pair of mirrors. Great look, especially as a pair. Some more antiques and Mission Oak furniture here. Antique Federal chest. Nice little miniature rosewood cabinet. Dovetail drawers. Pine apothecary cabinet. This is a great, great piece. Good for your collections. It's lot number 18. Miniature Chippendale low chest. Once again, has some nice age to it. Dovetail drawers. Have that swan decoy there. So if we take a look down this way here. All of these pieces are available for bidding now on BriggsAuction.com, our mobile app on Google Play or the App Store, and live auctioneers. This is a great piano. This is actually coming up in our March auction, so not cataloged yet. But it's a Yamaha, black lacquered, uh, player piano, but a contemporary version. Some more mid-century, Plycraft lounge chair, cocktail table, double pedestal, traditional dining table, great one there. Modernist desk. Another little sorting cabinet, lot 32. This is another desk here. This is by Dunbar. It's Roger Sprunger for Dunbar. Teak surface. Really like refined edge on that drawer. Three drawers, chrome base. Great desk. And then a Burke Tulip dining set. Drop leaf carved demiloon there. Nice long spindle back bench. Plank seat. It's a pretty interesting piece here. It's lot 242 in pine. It's like a uh, like a shopkeeper's desk with how it has that slanted surface and the fitted drawer. Really interesting piece. Another multi-drawer cabinet back there. Got this great Arco floor lamp, Castiglione Arco floor lamp, iconic piece of design. in good condition. Have a Harry Bertoia diamond chair. 
right next to this Eames Shell Rocker. This is a Modernica version, so a little bit of a newer production. But great shell rocker, great color in this blue, like a sky blue wood runner. It is marked. Tough to make out there, but it does say Modernica there. On top of this traditional piece, lot 241, you have this multi-drawer apothecary or shopkeeper's cabinet. I really like this because of the white porcelain knobs on it. Dovetail drawer, white porcelain knobs. This unusual corner bucket bench or display shelf. Beadboard back, that's lot number 219. Traditional lingerie chest, mahogany, banded mahogany. Next to this lane, mid-century modern, two-piece bedroom set. And then you also have this traditional, like a Windsor style dining set here. It's lot number 204. Table and eight chairs. Amish made, same house as the large cabinet. So yeah, a lot of nice furniture in this auction that you don't want to miss out on. Let's take a look at some of the smalls here as well. We have a nice assortment, large collection of blue cobalt, blue decorated stoneware, all from one estate, from a Kenneth Square estate collection. Just a really nice assortment of stoneware here. Great bird crock. A little chicken crock there as well. And if we look over here, a whole variety of everything. You have this ball clock. These are great, these early bottles here, marked bitters and brandy, hand-blown glass. Just really nice early pieces. This little two-piece country grouping, a signed decoy, and this mortar and pestle. A lot of nice bronzes and decorative arts in the auction on there. Have that dog bronze and then that French deco style wine cooler. These are a pretty hit lot in the sale. There's two of these Italian pottery leopard wall mount sculptures. Really nice, impactful pieces. You have this Stuban Aureen vase, some more art glass as well. Oyster plates, which are always popular. Nice six piece grouping of oyster plates. You have this Lotz large vase with flower frog some modernist lucite sculptures. This is a really cool piece, lot 279, just a stylized wrought iron sculpture of a bicyclist. If we look over here, we have more, the same artist, that lucite sculpture there. Bronze of a dog, nice criss craft. Two of these Abercrombie and Fitch style leather stools. You have a pig and then a rhinoceros coin silver serving piece there, Boston silver maker. Some more sculpture and statuary. Here we have, there's four of these 19th century silver mounted shell snuff boxes. Really nice, lot 72. This large J.E. Caldwell retailed shelf clock, slate shelf clock with bronze mounts. This was in the Philadelphia mayor's office. Great provenance on this piece, really impactful piece. Great design. Lot 20, there's a whole collection of chocolate or ice cream molds on this primitive shelf. And then we have a whole lighter collection, a single owner lighter collection in this sale to include this very rare and very desirable Dunhill Aquarium Lighter. It's a great vintage piece. They still make this piece today. It retails for about 15,000. Everyone is handmade and none are alike. There's not two that are alike. So there's a lot of vintage and unique lighters in this auction. 
definitely worth checking out as a collector. So this gives you a brief highlight of some of the smaller pieces in the auction. Let's take a quick look at a few of my favorite pieces of art. All right, so in addition to the Caprilin estate that we have in the auction, which includes a lot of modern design artwork, there's also a lot of traditional pieces as well. These all can be viewed on BriggsAuction.com and our mobile app, but I just wanted to highlight a few here now. We have this really nice antique continental school oil on canvas genre scene here. You can see there's a hunter along with a gentleman. Great frame on this piece. Right next to it, we have a John Pito painting. Gilt framed with a $10 bill on Academy board. Philadelphia artist, great piece there. Lot 150, we have this illuminated manuscript. Pennsylvania, this is 18th century. Really well done, great detailing. Cut out and decorated with this saying here. It does have provenance on the back. Some great Pennsylvania history from the Hibbard family, Samuel Hibbard. We have a collection of photographs and photographers by Edward Curtis, famous Native American Western photographer. It's a really nice group and there's several of these. Some are limited edition and then some are original uh, prints from the original plates. And lastly, we have this old master's painting here of a Jean Racine landscape. So very early work. You can tell these works are early based on the stretcher. A lot of these stretchers like that are from early board paintings when they're on panel and that would limit the damage that would happen due to age, the expanding and contracting of the painting. There's also a large collection of Chinese blue and white Canton in the auction, all from one estate. Out of Kenneth Square, there's some nice books, jewelry, silver, and much more. This is all available for bidding now on BriggsAuction.com, our mobile app, Briggs Auction, through Google Play, and the App Store, as well as Live Auctioneers. This auction ends this Friday, February 23rd. It begins to close at 10 a.m. We start with lot number one and then go in succession from there. We typically do about 50 to 60 lots an hour. You can bid now though on BriggsAuction.com and our mobile app, or you can wait until the sale goes live. Thank you so much for tuning in. Find it at Briggs.